Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Gameplay Today. I am Alex Stadnick, and I am joined by three of the biggest racing fans I know. I have. We have quite the crew here. The 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 quite the the pit is that what they call uh, racing pits where people get tuned up. Um, we have Wes LeBlanc. Hello, sir. Hello, hello. Yeah, and I'm just uh, hanging out in the pit right now. Yeah, right the pit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We have the king of street comedy, Ben Reeves. Hello, sir. Hello. Not track comedy. Not track comedy. No, he, he's he's bombed at the track. No, um, this isn't going to be funny. No. <laughs> and then uh, the king of car noises, John Carson, is here. Hello. Hey, hey, I'm just here holding this tire. Where do you need it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I need it right here because we are playing. We're look, taking a look at Gran Turismo 7. That's right, folks. Seven hold Gran Turismos and uh, the first one on the PS5. First one in a long time, it's, it seems like. Uh, yeah, what? last one was yeah. 2017 with Sport, but this is the first, I guess, numbered mainline one since 2013, which is six. Yeah, Sport doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So tell me about it. You went to a preview event, event Wes. What did you What did you think? Yeah. So I kind of went into this event as the, um, like I I've never really gotten super into Gran Turismo. Um, it's extremely, you know, simulators, their whole thing, the real driving simulators, the, the motto. Um, for me, I'm more of an arcade racer kind of fan, but I went into this preview with open eyes, kind of seeing if Seven's doing anything to invite newcomers like me in, and um, it turns out it is. And a lot of the focus of the preview was um, the ways that this game wants to introduce people who aren't into car culture, into car culture, and show them like why GT fans have loved this series um for years and years and um, I'm, I'm pretty excited now for uh march's release cool now um john ben are yeah. you i know y'all are uh, uh, john i know you're a big horizon fan um yeah. like you know what's your we can start with you john what's your level of love for this series are you kind of in wes's boat are you a longer time fan i'm a longer time fan uh i mean i played back on the playstation one uh with gran turismo and gran, gran turismo 2 um and i've, I've picked up Gran Turismo through the years. I'm always like really impressed with their focus on on the cars and the tracks, and sometimes that does provide a more uh, like stale, sterile experience. Um, but like compared to like a Forza Horizon, it's kind of refreshing that it's not just like bombast and music. It's it's more focusing on the racing and the the strategy. Uh, on the track for sure Reeves how about you uh who gives a flip <laughs> uh, yeah no, who cares if I like the series I, I don't know I play yeah I played this series in the PS1 slash two days so back mm. when like two and three came out was when I was hot and heavy about it yeah uh, yeah kind of like Wes not a huge sim guy I, mean, I respect mm. the people who are out there who who care about that but then when stuff like Forza Motors Forza Horizon came out is when I was like, oh, maybe this is more my speed. Uh, pun intended, I guess. But yeah. <laughs> ben, you said you wouldn't be funny. Uh, I'm trying not to be, I swear. <laughs> um, just to yeah. preface this before, because obviously none of us are, you know, super Gran Turismo fans into Sims and all that kind of stuff. I Again, do want to say, who cares? Like, <laughs> <laughs> this game is very much still like Gran Turismo. Like, just to name some specs that are going to get fans super excited. Over 650 aerodynamic parts, whatever that means. Wow. 120 different types of tires, 1,200 different colors of paint, um, 400 cars, 50 different brands, 34 locations, 97 tracks. Like, it's all there. Everything you want out of a mainline Gran Turismo is there. But there's also some new things that um, we can talk about now that are going to kind of invite newcomers in. And one of them is uh, this music replay, which is interesting for me because Gran Turismo, my main kind of anchor to it over the years has been the music because it does have a really good soundtrack year after year. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's because they bring in all types of genres. You've got jazz, rock, hip hop, like everything. And so music replay is basically going to be an auto generated like camera system that takes your races and makes them look real pretty and plays cool music to them. Is um, that what this is then? That is what watching? this is. This is okay. This is post race. You would go in and make a music replay. So you don't get to actually like time it to the music. It just does that on its own. Mm -hmm. um, 
And I guess, you know, Gran Turismo fans really like to show off their moves, and this would be a cool way to do it. Well, what um, if I want to make it like more like an anime, uh, like like an, an initial D, uh, really intense racing moment? Did you see anything <laughs> like um, that in there? Mm, and I make this anime. <laughs> so unless the auto-generated camera is feeling especially anime right. on one day, then yeah, it's not, it's not going to happen. But All who right. knows, you know, maybe they watched the newest episode of Attack on Titan and the auto AI is like, oh, no. I'm going to make this super anime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Well, so what else, what other new stuff did you see from your time with it that, that got you excited for, for as a non-SIM yeah. fan? So the most exciting thing is this new mode called Music uh, Rally. And basically you pick a song you want from the soundtrack and the uh the people talking about the game said that this is not for people that want to drive but it's for people who want to enjoy music while sitting in a car which i really <laughs> like driving around <laughs> listening to music it's, it's pretty pretty good sell that's i was great. like perfect that's me yeah. um basically They're like we got the racing fans how do we get other people <laughs> so yeah you you casually drive around a track like you're still going kind of fast but it's much slower paced and you have a set number of beats at the top of your screen and they count down with the beat of the song um, and you get more beats by going through checkpoints and you're basically just trying to drive into the end of the song. Um, all the tracks you'll be doing that aren't like the more, you know, sportsy tracks you're going to be doing them on the super pretty, more nature filled type of tracks. Um, it's very much like a casual, just, you know, enjoy the the visuals and i guess the way the cars feel um, while listening to a cool song now um, wes is there a mode for people who like to watch movies on tiny screens in the back seat <laughs> of a car <laughs> yeah there is the um escort driver mode you know if you're carrying like a vip in the back seat um you can be the driver while they watch a movie back there mm, um perfect Perfect. That's not true, but it'd be cool if they had that. <laughs> you said um, that very convincingly as a man who has no time <laughs> him. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing that they're kind of pushing, which I think is pretty interesting, even as someone who's not super into cars, is like there's this whole museum feature in this game. Basically, every car manufacturer, every tire maker, all these brands in there have kind of like a museum you can can view you can see you know history about the car history about the person that made it it's got interview quotes um sometimes there's videos playing that will show them um all kinds of stuff to learn about the cars and that's kind of gt's push to get people into car culture or at least catch them up to speed you know if you're really into you know gt and cars in general this information is probably old news for you but for someone like me who doesn't understand the fascination with X car or Y car. Um, it's cool that there's like this little museum feature um, you can go into to learn more about the car. For Sounds sure. awesome. I have Is to it? say, game looks incredible, right? Oh, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. I feel like GT's always been kind of at the forefront of games that look good. Mm -hmm. And yeah, every time a new one comes out, I'm like, well, cars already look super realistic at this point. How can they make it look better? But yeah, just the lighting looks really good. Even that just look like real cars. Yeah. The ray tracing mode, which is in Gran Turismo 7. So here's a weird here's a weird thing that happened during the preview was they revealed there's a frame rate mode which plays the game at 60 FPS and a ray tracing mode. And they weren't super specific on that. They said the ray tracing mode is best for race replays and photo mode. But they didn't say like, is it something you can play as because they only showed it off during photo mm. mode and only during replays oh interesting um so i'm not sure if you can even play this game in ray tracing but the photos they showed and the photo mode they showed with ray tracing it is absolutely nuts how realistic these cars look it's i mean it, it, gt has always kind of pushed those boundaries and obviously this mm. one being the newest and on playstation 5 um it is certainly doing that for yeah. sure yeah Wes, you could say that this is footage that you of you in an actual car, and I believe you. Yeah, which one's yeah. you? If you could point it out real quick. Oh, it's gone. Um, nope, I'm in the back, way in the back. These guys oh, are God. doing really good. I'm way, way back there. Hold on, is that Tony Stark? <laughs> me. You see me? The right <laughs> oh my Nicky gosh! Rudy, what? Whiplash. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, this is just a scene from Iron Man 2. Yeah, yeah. You can't fool us. <laughs> I don't like where this is going, then. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Um, any any final pieces you want to hit on here? I know we're gonna show a little bit of the cafe section here in a second. Yeah. Uh, less anything. Are we are we yeah. gonna go through like a drive-through, like a Starbucks or? 
but no, it's a Taco got the Bell like the, from McDonald's. The it's real car cafe. experience. <laughs> yeah. So the cafe is exactly what it sounds like, to the point where you even pick up a menu, but on the menu you are viewing cars and not espresso drinks and pastries. Mm -hmm. And so each menu is basically like a mission or a quest that you complete. So you might pick up the Porsche menu and you have to drive a 911 across a course or something like that and uh, complete the objective, win however many races it says, and then when you do that, you get to tick off the um, the menu and you've done it. And that's kind of the campaign, they said. Um, you know, you finish all of the menus and the credits roll, mm -hmm. but obviously that's not where they want you to end your time with this game. They said that's for people who are kind of just need an objective, which is people like me. Yeah. Um, it gives me something to work towards. Mm -hmm. But with a racing game like this, you know, the real hours come when you, you know, sit in the tunings and mess with your weight and your tires and the 60 other tuning performance settings you can adjust. For sure. Is there anything a little bit more arcadey in this that, that fans like me would, would gravitate towards um, outside of what we've talked about already? Um, I wouldn't say arcadey only because when you're racing a car in Gran Turismo, they were very clear that like it is the simulator racer you've been, you've come to know of Gran Turismo. But they do have some arcadey like challenges and trials. Like you can do drag races now and drift races. Those are all going to be in like a special section, which I don't have the name in front of me, but it's basically like a little hub where you can do smaller, quicker more thematic races they're bringing back some old favorite tracks like uh, trial mountain and deep forest and that's where you'll find those um but while you're racing those you're still doing very much the simulation um driving when they talked about the drag racing they talked about a bunch of stuff that i've never heard of in a car <laughs> sounds cool yeah. but i mean i don't know if i'm there <laughs> yeah that's that's why you're in the back of the race yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's yeah. uh, it's kind of nice that this game's hitting when it is, especially since there hasn't been a, for a Forza Motorsport, like a, like an actual simulation Forza in, in a few years. Um, that's what I was most worried about, <laughs> having Gran Turismo go up against Forza uh, mm -hmm. these days, because like I feel like Forza's kind of the, the, bigger, the bigger name uh, in racing, uh, given that it has what, like... It also has its its seven mainline games and and the Horizon series. Um, I'm curious yeah, to see how this competes head to head, but I'm kind of glad that it's not going to right now. Yeah, it certainly feels like Forza is like the bigger name, but I think that might just be because the last mainline Gran Turismo was six in 2013. But if I remember correctly, Gran Turismo is like a really big seller for PlayStation. It's it's not like a small franchise for them. Right. Yeah, I mean, it was it was Forza before Forza kind of took that the crown away with with you know Horizon and the mainline series. So it, it made cars mm -hmm. cool, at least at least for me living in the suburbs uh, when I was like ten. Suburbs, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, are we having well, dinner with Chris and Tom Mateo? Yeah, we yeah. are. Chris Tano. Uh, you did did you dress appropriately, Ben? Of course. Did you bring a tie. Are you I'm wearing, wearing my flip flops shirt? and my tie. And, and you're not gloves. Sim, that's it. <laughs> 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 well, before <laughs> before Ben gets arrested, we were gonna go put some clothes on him. Uh, Wes, <laughs> when is this game out? This game is out on March fourth. Okay, exclusively for PlayStation Five, or is it on PS4 as well? It is also on PS4. Cool. Well, there you go, friends. Uh, if you want to learn more about uh, Gran Turismo, be sure to go over to uh, GameInformer.com. Gentlemen, thank you for joining me. And viewers, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye. Here come the cops. Ah. <laughs>